In this video, we're going to take a look at a My One and Only Love transcription. Now, this is one of my own transcriptions. Hey, it's Paul Toby here from jazzmental.com. This is based on something that I recorded a few days ago, and I really liked the way that it went. I liked the way the head was put together, the bridge, a little bit of classical going on. It was just a nice arrangement. So what I decided to do was just write it out. So I wrote out the entire head, and what we're going to do in this video is analyze it Take a look at some of the chord progressions, some of the things that the hands do, the trills, the 6-8 feel at the bridge, and we're just going to walk through it. I'm going to take a few minutes to do that, and then after that, I'm going to play the version that I recorded a few days ago, and I'll also post a link to the sheet music transcription so that you can download it and learn it. So stick around until the end of the video because I won't be sharing the link to the transcription until the end. All right, let's get into the transcription that I made. This is, again, something that I recorded a few days ago for my one and only love, and I really felt that the way the chords progressed and the classical section at the bridge just kind of all came together. So I decided to transcribe the entire thing. I'm going to walk you through this transcription. It's a good way for you to discover interesting jazz progressions and other things, and we'll talk about them as we go through them. So let's take a look at the first four bars here. Now, the first bar is really all about six diminished scale. You can see that there is a A flat diminished seventh chord. So as you're going up the scale for C6, every other chord is a diminished chord. But the melody is not just the scale. The melody is going like this. It's like pentatonic scale. And so therefore you have to choose where the diminished chords go. But it's a nice sound because we're doing it in contrary motion. So the right hand is going up, left hand is going down. Now, this F major 7 sharp 11 chord is just a half step below F sharp half diminished 7 because there isn't a lot of choices there. So this is the one I chose, just half step below F sharp. It's a nice sound, especially with that G natural grace note up there. Now you can arpeggiate this like this, or just roll it like that, sorry. Now you can see in the left hand we've got those inner voices happening, so from C to D. Or it could be D to E. Just get some inner voice movement going. Now we've got a four, seven, three, six, two. Right, so it's just cycle of fits. So you wouldn't start on F natural because it's really not part of the original chords, but you are starting on the sharp four or the flat five. So F sharp diminished seven, or half diminished seven to B seven flat nine. That's a very standard chord series, that cycle of fifths, and I, I would definitely recommend that you memorize that one. It's nice. And then to D minor. And this is six diminished scale here. So we're on the second line right now, right here. So six diminished scale. Right? So A over G. This is a nice chord here because the left hand is going up by a half step. So what we're doing there in that bar, and I'm specifically speaking of this A minor to D here, what we're doing is playing the first two notes together, and then every other note is right hand, left hand. So right hand, left hand, right hand. So like this. It makes a nice sound. And then the F sharp moves to the F natural to make it a D minor 7 chord, and then this, 6 diminished scale and then A minor over G, we're getting to cadence now. 
And then rather than just go to C, we're doing a 3, 6, 2, 5. So. Right? Okay. Now there is a second time ending, which is F over C. I'm going to show you that here. So you can see there at the top of this right here, there's an F to C right here. So it's going, it's really a gospel thing. You can put a D in there as well. And then it's heading into the bridge. So let's take the second time ending this time. Second time ending. Now I really like the bridge here because it just switches to classical. Really it's like six, eight time, but it's written in triplets like this. Left hand ostinato. Now the melody for my one and only love is intact, right? And all we're doing is adding these grace notes or trills to it. Which is a nice classical sound. Now the interesting thing about that is that you don't necessarily have to line up this note to this note. Play it where you feel it. It could be earlier in the bar like this. Or later in the bar. Don't play it in straight time, play it more rubato. Then when we get to this last bar here, we're really getting back into jazz. So we're switching into classical for a little bit, getting back into jazz, and really all we're doing is this descending bass line heading down to the A by half steps like this. And just finding the right chords that work there. And as the chords move outwards, they get a little more dense. So starting out thin, more dense, more dense, and then to D minor, to G7. And then we're back to the head section. There really isn't anything more to it than that, but it's definitely going to take you a little bit of time to work out those voicings. Don't worry too much if the chord doesn't fit your hand. I, I do have a lot of these tents like this one, but uh, you can play, miss some of those notes or you can play some of them with the right hand. It's really up to you. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the recording that this transcription came from. I'm not going to play the entire thing. I'll play the head and a little bit of soloing. Uh, but I will put a link up here in the corner to the entire recording, which you might want to check out. It's like eight minutes long. And then when we come back, I'm going to post a link to the sheet music so that you can download it and learn it.
Okay, so thanks for listening to that recording. Right now, I'm gonna post a link to the sheet music transcription right up here in the corner. Just go and download that and start learning it. It's definitely, I believe, a good way to hear some nice chord progressions, especially like the four, seven, three, six, two, five, one things, and also the classical stuff at the bridge. So go ahead and download it and you'll definitely learn something from it. And by the way, while you're over at jazzmental.com, just check out some of the other sheet music that we have and the backing tracks and other tutorials. All of it is designed to help you learn to become a better jazz piano player. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna to subscribe to the channel, we'd love to have you. Just hit the little bell when you subscribe and you'll be notified of all the upcoming videos that we're making. Thanks so much for your time. I will see you in the next video.